Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Arrow season number 5, episode number 23, Liang Yu. This episode is directed by Jesse Warren and this is again the season finale of another CW superhero show. That's right. This is the last and the final battle between Oliver Queen, aka Green Arrow, against Adrian Chase, aka Prometheus. This is where everything goes down. This is where we find out if Oliver will actually succumb to Adrian Chase. Now, I was watching this episode and I kept thinking to myself, why in the world, how crazy do you have to be to actually want somebody to kill you so you can prove that you're right? I, I, I was thinking that, that, what kind of bad guy is that? I said, oh my gosh. And then it finally hit me. He's the Joker and Oliver's Batman. I don't know why I think that before. I mean, they, they keep trying to make Oliver Batman throughout this whole since, since, since um, the series started. I mean, Oliver in the comics can be dark at times, but he's not like this. They're trying to make him more like Batman. His, his, his connection to Ra's al Ghul and stuff like that, too. And, and his daughters. Just like Batman slept with one of Al Ghul's daughters. Not because he was drugged out of his mind. But they have a son together. And so so they kind of kind of make... Instead, they can't use Batman. So they make, they're putting Oliver in that place. And so Adrian Chase is crazy. He doesn't have the, the flamboyancy of the Joker and the, and, the, and the jokes like the Joker has. But he's like the Joker in a way. Because all the Joker wants to do is prove to Batman that he's just as psychotic as him. And when, if, if he can force Batman to kill him, I, I, I prove everything I, I prove everything Joker wants. And so that's, what, that's all Adrian Chase wants to do. He, he's psycho. He's psycho. And he believes that Oliver is psycho too. And he just like him. So if he can force him to kill him, he proves his point. See, I was right. He is a psycho killer. That's like I've been saying from the beginning. So that's what all Adrian wants to do in this episode right here. Is to finally get his last bit of justice in, in his own mind. Get his revenge on his father. And to prove to the whole world and Oliver himself that he's nothing but a psycho killer. And, there, and all these people who was following you are just as nuts as you are. So if I can get you to kill me, they all will see it. And I'll be right. And then I can die happy. That's all he wants to do. So he, so he, has, his, he has his whole thing set up. He's been planning it for years. So he kidnaps everybody who Oliver loves or cares about. First, all his friends, Felicity, you got Diggle, you got Quentin, and then you find out where Renee is. Kind of messed up because he missed his daughter's thing, so that's kind of messed up. Now you can, hopefully they can fix that. Maybe. And it forces Oliver to work alongside people who he wouldn't work with. So he now his this now his team now people on his team are Malcolm Merlin, you got um Slade Wilson, you got Nessa Al Ghul, and he got Digger, Digger Warnest, aka Boomerang, on his side. Ton of, he got these people together, work together to pretty much rescue his family. Now at first I said that it would probably be Malcolm Merlin, who might he probably might screw him over eventually. That's what Malcolm does. But turns out it was not the case at all. Now, this is a spoiler right here. And a not spoiler at the same This is a spoiler. Yeah, it's gonna be a little spoiler. Now, a lot of people die in this, in this episode. But here's the thing. Here's the question. Did they? Did they die? Because we see no bodies in this episode. We hear a lot of explosions, we see a lot of things blow up, but do we see anybody die? Nope. So does that mean anybody died or some people died? Did everybody die or did not, nobody died? I don't know. Because here's the thing that I could not quite believe how this happened. Now, I'm still trying to wrap my, wrap, my, wrap, my mind, wrap, my, wrap my mind around what happened. Okay, now, they're on the island. And Adrian has been setting up this plan for a long, long time before he made his appearance. Okay, I get that. But he had bombs... Throughout the whole entire island. He had plant, he planted bombs on the whole entire, everywhere on the island. First off, I mean, I know he had time, but how much time did he have? And first, how did he get all the equipment to make all these bombs? And how? 
I mean, okay, he probably threw a couple bombs here and there, but everywhere? I mean, there was there was not one place on that one. On, there wasn't a bomb. I just, how to blow up a whole island takes a, a lot of money and equipment and manpower? Like, how does, okay, okay, I guess so. I mean, it's messed up, but wow. But overall, this episode was amazing. Everything led up to this moment, and it, and it, and it, led, and it led up to this finale in a, in a great, great way. Uh, it was very entertaining. The action scenes were just fantastic. I mean, you had scenes between um, Nessa and her and her and her sister, and they were going at it one another, dealing with their family issues. That was great. You had you had um, Diana and um, and the. I can't think of a name right now, but the, the the two black canaries, the two canaries going after going after one another, and that was just great. I mean, you, you actually knew how it was going to happen, how it was going to go down. They both were going to scream, and knock each other out, but it was still fun to watch. And then you had like the thing with Oliver going going after Adrian, and then that that was emotional and very intense, especially when his son got involved. Oh, and Adrian forces Oliver to make that make make another choice between saving his son or saving his friends and family. That just crap. It is also emotional as well because you had Malcolm Rowland finally being the father that um that Thea wanted him to be because she she always she, she hated them first she she loved them then she hated them and then that he finally he sacrificed himself to save her and then she like just like, crap I can't I I I felt confused too should we should we love him now or should we still hate him I I, I don't know. Because what he did was just so beautiful and so touching and so amazing. And yet, he done a whole lot of things that was so bad and so evil. Oh, like the, the feels in this, in this episode here was like ups and down and, and sideways. At the same time, just, I don't know if I should feel this feeling sad. Should I be feeling happy? Should I be mad? Or, or I'm feeling a little bit of all of them all at the same time. And I'm confused. I'm confused. But it was well done. I, I say Adrian Chase so far has been the best um, um, bad guy that um, Oliver has ever faced. Oh, the best. And I think that um, Josh Segura did an amazing job on the show. Amazing, amazing job. Oh, so good. Because you hated him so much. But you also was intrigued by him. And you actually were still wanted to watch him throughout the whole, throughout the whole season. Because you, you just want to see just how crazy he's going to be. This is how well how well he had plan, things planned out. Uh, this is the, the how willing he wanted to go to get Oliver to try to kill him. Woo! Messed up. Really, really messed up. But now, I already mentioned this already about the whole bombs all over the island. And I, and I, and I, but the thing is though, this is this is a spoiler. Now you have Oliver and Adrian, and and um. And Oliver's son on the boat off the island. And they're fighting. Okay? And Adrian's trying to do everything he can to make sure Oliver kills him. But at the same time, Oliver can't kill him because if, he, if, if um, Adrian dies, all the bombs go. It's, it's connected, his life, I think his life support or something like that, whatever, it's connected to all the bombs. So once, once he dies, all the bombs go off, killing everybody on the island. So. Adrian can't, can't get Oliver to kill him. So he kills himself. And then all the bombs go off. With Diggle and Felicity and everybody else who was on the island on the island. But here's the thing. Now, as interesting as it would be if everybody actually did die. Let's say, let's say that CW and had, had, the, had the, the nerve to actually say, no, we're going to kill everybody off. I mean, that would be interesting to have Oliver have to deal, deal with that. And still try to, if, if it end, would this actually break him permanently? Or do you still try to be the hero? And while also watch him be the father to his son. Since his mother's gone, he had to do it all by himself. And watch him cope with that. That would be interesting and fun, to, uh, interesting to watch. It's not, that's not going to happen. But still, that would be interesting. So, I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out how would they, it, it, I think they're going to find a way for them, everybody on the island to, to survive. At least the people who they want to survive is going to survive. Because you you see all the explosions go off, but like I said before, you see no bodies. You see no bodies. So that that could mean anything. I could, I could mean some people could have died. 
It could mean everybody could have died. I don't know. That's not likely, but most likely not. I don't think. Or it could have mean nobody died. Who knows? We're not going to find out what the next season. But but still, but until then, I enjoyed this episode a whole lot. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Arrow. And what do you think? Do you think anybody died or nobody died? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel the big old like, hit the thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. It's like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.